Hello everybody, welcome back to the Wade Farms YouTube video. We are in BeamNG Drive today for a short video. <clears throat> Trust me, there will be longer BeamNG Drive videos coming out soon. School's almost done. They're coming soon. In today's video, we're going to be trying to drive big things through small towns. I don't know, let's see how it goes. Well, trust me, we'll have the regular neutral drops and the, the no mercy reverses, but I haven't driven a semi in a while, so I actually just kind of want to drive realistically and just drive a semi actually. So yeah, I just kind of want to realistically drive a semi in a really small town. And the, trust me, I could get a semi with a ram plow on it, but that wouldn't be realistic. Um, I, I, I don't know how it is in Italy, so actually I don't know. We have the town already? Man, let's go back into town. I need to get some groceries. So yeah, I don't know how it is in Italy. Um, I'm assuming everybody there drives like small cars and small trucks and small you know, semi-trucks even. Uh, I, I don't really know. Um, but I know one thing. This truck's really big and we're in a small town. So. Oh, I should add traffic. I want to get used to this. Like, I just want to drive around a little bit. Um. So I'm driving like a bunch of trucks and, you know, real side-by-sides and real trucks in real life. Uh, in Mexico. Um, and, and it just feels weird to get on the sem because it's just like so different. But I think we're gonna spawn some traffic in. We we'll probably curbed it. Probably spawn some traffic in here so we can actually get a realistic drive. Okay, so we got the AI spawned in, and um, my computer is very laggy. So that's good. I have a. Uh, you know, my computer's. It's kind of a beast. I mean, it's not the most powerful thing, and it's definitely not, you know, a top of the line or whatever. It is three years old, but uh, I mean, this thing. We're already stuck on the semi. Uh, and this thing's lagging from this game, and it doesn't lag from other games either. We're like bottoming out. Now we're not. Well, since this guy just wants to be a nice Samaritan and just let us go and not hit into us. Oh, actually, you know what? Never mind, I changed my mind, he's gonna let us go. Whoops. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be fun. Oh, we gotta make sure we don't hit anybody, and that's scary. Let's try to go as fast as we can. Okay. Um... You know, that, that'll buff. That'll buff. I ain't worried about him. He's fine. That doesn't count as a crash. Okay, we might have to get, like, a pickup truck. Try to drive a pickup truck down these small roads. I think a semi's a little too big. Oh, well, we made it by that guy. Whoops. And that guy, too. That guy didn't really want to get over. Also, that guy, he didn't really want to get over, either. Slam on our brakes. Come on now. We're gonna slam on our brakes again, huh? This guy's gonna have to learn to get around me, cause uh, that's... All right, I'm gonna pull off right here. Enough with the semi. I'm gonna switch it to like a truck. Like I'm gonna make it a long truck. So we'll have, trust me, we'll have some difficulty driving that as fast as we can around Italy. Made it a crew cab truck with a long bed on it, so. Um, we might have to, oh, you know what we could do? We could put a trailer on it. Let's do that, let's put a trailer on it, hold on. Um, don't ask me how I ended up with this truck down here. But we're climbing up this hill, so it's fine. Um, I don't really want to have to hook onto the trailer this way, because this truck, uh, you know what? This truck and trailer, and I'm saying the trailer too, has a mind of its own. No. You're not going down there. Perfect. Also, um, so yeah, this, uh, this engine on this thing is, uh, really weak. Uh, so we might have to, you know, give it a ton of power to that, you know, that might help. But I don't got nothing on the trailer, just a 22 foot long trailer with this, you know, truck configuration. I'm gonna try to drive around. Actually, you know what? No, the truck has plenty of power. I wouldn't even worry about the truck. 
So yeah, we're just gonna be kind of following traffic, trying to drive as fast as we can, I guess. Till we get into our second portion of the video where we're crashing and destroying and, you know, like the usual. Huh, it's actually interesting. I think we need to pass. This guy's going a little slow. Whoops. Yeah, it's still good. Alright, you slow pokes. Whoops. Alright. Ooh. I guess we just start the destruction now. Alright, so we got this old V8 car. And you already know. In Italy, folks. Only in Italy. Thing, uh, it's just the V8 one, but I feel like we should be getting some more wheel spin off of this. Just saying. This guy's gonna have to watch out. Because I will hit him, and I do not care. Because you buddy better get out of my way. Doing rocking horses here, bud. Oh, perfect. We can do a burnout off of them. Man, this thing doesn't even have posse. That's sad. Damn, this thing's heating up already. Golly, I thought we could get some wheel spin off of that. But I guess we'll just keep doing rocking horses. The neutral drop. We'll get up to speed and do a no mercy reverse on this thing. Huh, that stopped us, but it stopped us in like a weird, immediate way. Well, um, now the tire's all messed up. Well, there we go, now it's not. We got Quadra Steer, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you didn't know they sold them on 2008 Ford Crown Victorias? There's always an option. Man, only in Italy. Pretty well. Yeah, I bought this daily for three grand. It's pretty good. Put 15,000 miles on it already. <laughs> this thing will do it right now. Now she's weak. When I tell you she's weak, she doesn't even want to do rocking horses. Man, you get a Toyota Prius to do rocking horses. Does that's that that's tells you how weak this thing is? Ooh, she's about done for. Ooh. Well, we better uh, park it and give it back to the guy that we borrowed it from. Right, I never thought of it before. Rocking horses and a pigeon. Let's go. Dang, all right. This thing's got some wheel spin. I'll give it that. Uh, she's pretty bouncy. This car, uh, this is actually like a truck from Italy. So this is, you know, for Italians, which I don't see how that is because this thing is really slow and has barely any power. Oh, just kidding. Pigeons have like 800 horsepower, um, 700 pounds foot of torque, can tow like 35,000 pounds, can haul, that's a bit of a trailer. Oh, uh, no, yeah, speaking of, uh, oh, no, I just said tow, they can tow uh, around 35,000 pounds, depends. Um, they can haul like 3,500 pounds in the bed, so yeah, they're, you know, a small little truck. That's small truck things, right? Alright, yeah, get out of my way, you green car. No, I'm green too. Oh yeah, we'll drive this pigeon around, man. This thing's such a nice driver. You know, such a nice vehicle to drive. Whoops. Oh. Well, the good thing is I can get out and tip it back over. Get on our way. Huh. 
Yeah, the window's broken. That happens every couple days. I have to, you know, just completely buy a new pigeon because it gets destroyed. Cause, uh, I do stupid stuff like this. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit the bell, post notifications. Um, I'm getting out of school soon, so videos will be coming more. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys next time. Wait, fuck.